discussing about types of predictive modeling. So as you can see that in the previous video, we've discussed the difference between predictive analysis and predictive modeling. So today I shall be discussing what are the types of different predictive models. So we've got two basically, namely parametric and non-parametric. So now we shall discuss about what are what is parametric model in machine learning. So parametric model means as the name, you can just break it down. It's parameters. So any algorithm which makes assumptions, strong assumptions, it is called parametric models. So it makes parametric models when algorithm uses certain assumptions. So as when you get this name assumptions, something should pop up in your mind and that is bias. So that means if my model is making assumptions, it will be a biased model. Not necessarily, but yes, there will be biasness. And due to biasness, we have seen in previous videos, we have heard, it, heard this that if you have got bias, you your model would underfit the data. It will not learn it well. So I will just apply all the previous learning in here and consolidate this fact that in predictive modeling, especially in the parametric model, what happens is that the assumptions are made by the algorithm. And why the algorithm makes assumption? It, it is made to learn well the parameters. I can say that it simplifies the learning process. The input patterns have to be learned by the algorithm so that it can predict the output. So it is done to predict the output. So how it does that? To simplify the learning, it learns something, so it makes assumptions. Popular examples for parametric learning is linear regression, logistic regression. Then you've also got naive bias. So these algorithms make strong assumptions. Take, for example, linear regression. It tries to fit your data in the best line of fit. It tries to fit entire data points into or just um, below or beside that line so that it just fits in that. So and my data might not necessarily be a linear relationship. It might not necessarily display a linear relationship or a curved relationship. It might have a zigzag function but it is trying to predict entire thing into just fitting it in a form of a line. So when it is doing that, this makes certain flaws. Like if it is not a linear function, it is trying to fit it in a linear thing, function. So the, the data is not learned well. And because of that, there will be poor predictions, there will be poor fit. And so we'll get less accuracy of our model. So now we come to the limitations of this parametric model is that it suffers from learning i mean it does not learn well so you've got dearth of learning now you take an example that when you're going for an exam and you have not learned well and any in your examination you get a question you're not able to attempt that what happens is that you have not learned well and so you're not able to generalize things you're not able to put things together that's what happens with this because you're trying to fit everything into that learning what you have so now we come to the next that is non-parametric model or non-parametric machine in machine learning, what does this mean? It does not make strong assumption. It is not like it will not make assumptions, but it will not make strong assumptions. What happens here is that algorithm learns the mapping function quite well, and it's tried to best fit the data. Now this mapping function, now there is a flexibility in this mapping function. It could learn the mapping function based on the data. So you try to find the best fit with this, non-parametric model. Few algorithms which use non-parametric algorithms are like KNN decision tree SVM support vector machine. And um, now when I'm not making any assumption, that means I don't have the limitation to learning as compared to parametric models. So when I don't have any limitation, that means I'm flexible and I am open to learning. When I'm open to learning, I have got one limitation and that is overfitting. Now, when I'm flexible, I will have variance in my data. And when I try to overfit the data, that means the algorithm, when it overfits the data, it tries to learn very well. It even tries to learn the noises, the outliers in your data. So it just tries to overfit entire data that I have learned all, everything. And due result is that, that it might not be able to generalize well on an unseen data. And so the prediction, the predictive ability of the model suffers because of it. So both underfitting and overfitting are both problems in, in the model which we face and we try to fix it. In the previous videos, we have also seen how to overcome the problems of overfitting and underfitting. So I'll just give you a brief about how do you really overcome this overfitting here. What happens is that you've learned so well. That means you've complicated things. So what do you need to do? You need to simplify it. So how do you simplify things? Reduce the features. Reduce the complexities. 
So that's what we do. We reduce the features and there are various things, various methods available in machine learning. And how do you do that? Either you use K-fold sampling methods or you resample your data or either you will just uh, do, go for feature extraction or feature elimination or selective, manually selecting the features and feeding it into algorithms. So this is what, uh, how do you overcome this overfitting of the data? Because variance is more, it has learning more, and that's what non-parametric model means. And now if I come to the parametric model, this thing, and the poor fit, underfit, the problems for this can also be solved by increasing the variance. That means here you have limited knowledge, so you just increase your knowledge. So you increase the complexities, increase the number, the features in your model, right? So we've dealt it in previous videos. I'll provide the link in the description box so that you can understand. And these are the basic terms and concepts which will really help you in building your model. And th these are not the things which you have to remember. It's just clicks. It should just click one after the another. It should follow a logical sequence like assumption, bias, poor result, poor fit, overfitting, underfitting. How do you solve this? And this link and chain should go on. So when you're fitting the model or when you're really doing it in practice, it should just pop up in, in your head that, okay, this algorithm can can is more prone to overfitting because it might not learn well. But still you have to go and um, um, I would say that uh, predict, go on predicting and trying many of the algorithms before you finalize one algorithm for your data. So it all depends on data set on which we are working. Parametric model is good for small data sets and non-parameter models are um, good for large data sets. So now this brings me to an end of this video and please do comment in the description box and comment section, whatever, uh, more videos you want, more theory videos. And it's time for uh, some practical sessions. So I'll be coming up with some practical machine learning projects here. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.